So, Marion Sayre, you started working with a crescent moon and now you've turned into a star. How do you feel about it? I feel quite good. I feel that it's really nice that this moon has spread and uh, I was not imagining it will have become so big when the first day I designed it. From different country or different culture means something really different. So, for example, uh, in Japan, then uh, you have, of course, Sailor Moon, so people were referring to that. And then, of course, in France or in other countries, some people were directly thinking about Arabic words. And then some people also were thinking about, like, uh, you know, Greek goddess. And it's also a symbol that evolved, so I really like the fact that it could evolve also with us. But I think, like, the way I want to bring the moon and to open it to kind of like the world kind of work today, so I'm really happy with that. You have various uh, ideas that you really stick to, and one of them, of course, is recycling. Um, or do you call it something else? I've seen various things, for example, the scarves that you've done and turned into clothing. Um, how do you feel about this recycling? So, yeah, now I, I kind of call it upcycling. And uh, how do I feel about that? I just feel that it's going to continue being part of my work and also of what Marine Serre means today. And uh, also as a young designer coming and with having no past, I could do basically also everything I wanted. And one of my, you know, like kind of goal was also to try to produce in another way. And then how to produce in another way was also not so simple when you are so small because you have basically no uh, resource. So then I tried to search where the horses were actually and then I went to warehouse getting these old vintage scarves and then also upcycling then um, cotton shirts. And the uh, idea was to re-rock them without to lose of course the, you know, the, the beauty of this fabric but also without to lose the aesthetic of what Marinsa was. Meaning that I work the same way with this kind of fabric that I will work with another one. You've produced three special outfits and when I looked at them at first sight I thought well these are just sort of vaguely evening clothes, a little bit sporty, but your fashion is always in the mix. Tell us how you've mixed things together here with these three dresses. What makes um, this collaboration exclusive with matches uh, really different than the show is that uh, all these dresses uh, are from different colours. So you have one that is pink, a blue one, and then a yellow one. They are all dyed, so we have this upcycled shirt. And then uh, because of that, you have a different uh, kind of variation in the colour. And then also you have long sleeves, so that prefer clearly to um, a surfwear garment in which you can zip your dress on the back. So the idea of this garment is really to have a a kind of red carpet dress that you can zip yourself and go on. And, uh, and also you have like pockets in the ruffle, meaning that you can also put like your phone, your bottle or whatever. And also you have uh, the mention of uh, future wear on the back and a collaboration with uh, Swarovski there that make it like refer to kind of gymnastic, feminine, rhythmic part of it. And uh, future wear it was really the um, kind of main word for me to describe what was Marinser about. So instead of like talking about, uh, I don't know, neat wear, then we will clearly talk about future wear and that the whole collection then will be future wear. And future wear for me mean at the same time the proportion and the way I work with garment, but also the way it's produced then with upcycling. So... Reaching for the moon, it's a great idea and you have achieved it. Congratulations, Marinser. Thank you, Susie. <laughs>